What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is a third person podcast. Today with me is my man, Jesse, and that's right. You know what that means, right, Jess? It's comic time. Like, nobody can tell what we're doing here. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, not in the middle of the screen. (laughs) Right. Guys, we're talking Walking Dead comic number 163 entitled Conquered. This is, um, it's the Images 25 year anniversary, so they're giving, this comic is actually 25 cents right now, as are uh, a couple of the other, you know, Skybound Image comics that, like, Kirkman writes, so Outcast and, and, um, what's the other one called? Uh... A superhero one. Wow. Yeah. Can't remember. I want to say it's not super. Jesus. Uh, it, I can't we're remember. not talking about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, we don't talk about that one. Um, but anyway, so we're, we're here. We're back with The Walking Dead. Uh, and um, Jesse, uh, tell us what, what goes on in this one off the heels of the the fi- the, uh, the closing of that last arc with the, the whispers. So as we know, the horde, the giant horde was coming towards them. And everybody's in a panic because Dwight didn't know that there were thousands instead of hundreds. Yeah, of he walkers. thought they got them all right. Well, we start off right in the midst of it. What's that sound? And from there, it just escalates. They didn't, they start thinking of plans. Eugene's like, "I'm going." Rick's like, "No, you're not. Sit down. You just got back. You fainted." He's like, "I'm going. Right. I'm on adrenaline." So they go out. They all hoard the or try to hoard the zombies. Meanwhile, they're still coming towards Alexandria, so a little bit of a problem. And this is glossing over just a summary, so while it's happening, they start pushing up against the gate. Negan takes charge, and he takes a knife and starts stabbing him. But then they start pushing zombies through, and the gate finally falls, and they're in Alexandria. And what's her name? Uh... It's not Carol. It's, um... I'll tell you right now. Paula. Yeah, Paula. (laughs) She gets bit, dead, and Rick's there, helpless. Who saves him? Negan. Negan comes out of nowhere and saves Rick. And it's just perfect. Yeah. That's pretty much all that happens. And then we have John there looking through the binoculars with his one good eye. Yeah. Which, that's a false image up top, in the top right corner, if he only has one eye. Well, I mean, I guess it's on <laughs> I guess it's on his face, and it's just he's just showing it on his face, you know? Yeah, probably, but still, he only has one good eye. Yeah. But yeah, so that's what happens in this issue. Uh, what are your thoughts on it, Chris? Uh, well, I'll tell you, man, I, I just, I, I was a little let down with the last issue. Because it wasn't, you know, I bit. thought it was going to be something more, right? I mean, look, I wasn't let down, but I thought I thought we were going to see this, you know? Yeah, this would have been a good issue for last issue, definitely. Right. But, but you know what? This was an extra long issue. This is 28 pages. Um, yeah, it was it, – I, I, I liked it a lot. It's uh, you're Getting back to that, oh, my God, what are we going to do with all these walkers? You know, because if there's one thing that in, – especially in the comic – after fighting all the groups they fought, fighting off all the evil leaders and all that stuff, it's there's still the dead to deal with. So sometimes it's they're they're inconsequential. Like holy shit, we have to fight these humans. The dead are just in the way. And then other times it's oh shit, forget the humans. We have these undead to deal with. So yeah, it's oh no, we have to fight the dead. The humans are in the way. Yeah, so, exactly. I yeah. I think I think. Uh, I think having, you know, we haven't seen a horde. I mean, they did in the previous arc, they did run through that whole horde with the whispers, yeah. you know, moving them around. So it's like, but we haven't had, we haven't been overrun in a long time. And I believe the last time was Alexandria. The last time was when the walls fell. Right. Uh, when we was really overrun. Yeah. Right. So this time, you know, so we're back again with, with more and um, it's pretty bleak, man. I mean, it's like the, they're, what I got out of the whole thing, it's very bleak. They're, they're trying to, you know they're 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 like switch it up yeah and like they're they're trying to be optimistic is what i'm trying to say and they're like we're gonna do this right yeah we we can do this oh, okay so everyone on the horse is like it's kind of like holy shit what are they gonna do okay so okay they're gonna go down this way they're gonna go that way obviously they're bottlenecking there's no way they can get they can get really yeah. get them out except down these alleys so it's like they have to funnel them out of the at- out through the alleys and i mean you know i'll I'll quickly run over to some of these images and it's like i i like michonne's idea 
Well, yeah, get I was, him there and then start attacking him. I mean, bottleneck him in the alleyways. Don't yeah. like get him out in the field like they got him. Right. I mean, this was actually, you know, if you want to talk about, you know, one of my favorite parts. This is one of my favorite parts here, where where she jumps off and, you know, and Jesus is like, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what, what how we're gonna do this, and she's like, I got it, and so they jump yeah, off. And, he's sitting there in the back, like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. So then she jumps down and he's like, Yeah, yeah, good plan, good plan. He's like, We'll take out five or six at a time. We'll trade off. We'll thin the we'll thin the numbers. You know, if anyone could do it, these two can. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they've got the stamina. Two of they've the got the biggest the, the drive. Yeah. yeah, two of the biggest like sword wielders in the show. Right. So, I mean, I think, you know, this was a really, really fun part, you know? Yeah. Um, and then, uh, and this then, part here's what got me. Well, you know, earlier he, he tells me you can get, he goes, you're not getting a gun. Get you're back inside. <laughs> right. And, and then, and then this happened. He, and he kind of takes charge. And my favorite was he looks and he's like, listen to the man, you know, that, that was, was unexpected. Yeah. It really was. I, I was like, Rick's about to, oh, wait, no, never mind. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, it, it shows that Rick's like, okay, I got to put my shit aside and exactly. we need to survive this. And if this man can can do that, don't I mean, this man was a leader. I mean, not like he wasn't. He was. Know? So it's not like, you know, uh, and a, I've heard some interesting theories from some friends of mine. And I think you even gave one last night about Negan possibly becoming, you know, a higher up and then maybe betraying Rick later on. I don't know if that would happen, but. Yeah, maybe maybe Negan redeems himself somehow. Well, let me say this, know. do you do you trust him? After seeing his backstory, after knowing why he's done stuff, a little bit, yeah. I mean, I'm how, looking like over there at you on the screen, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm trying I know, I don't we don't have each other in front of our faces right now cuz we're both looking at the comic, but I mean, I gotta be honest, I, I you know, and, and you guys can let us know in the comics. Do you guys do you really trust Negan? I don't I, I I don't really trust him. I understand where he's come from, but that doesn't mean anything because look at what he's done. Look at all the shit he's already done to Rick and the group. So, he takes like responsibility though. Like the next page I think it is, after he saves Rick, he goes and saves him and then he's like, I'm the one that messed up your leg in the first place. And yeah. Yeah, he goes, well, he says that... he says he thinks I hope this makes up for everything. Well, this thing this makes up for everything, it, right? Like not it really, makes man. Up for you know, probably breaking his leg. Oh, I'll give him that. <laughs> for, yeah, but you still killed. I mean, don't get me wrong, Rick killed his people. But the difference is, if if you're gonna if you want to fucking split hairs with that, yeah, Negan killed Rick's family. All right, the people Rick killed of Negan's are not; they were just his like They're underlings. Henchmen. Yeah, they they weren't yeah. anything. It's like so th there wasn't a personal connection. Whereas Negan directly attacked his family. So, and, I mean, Glenn was like maybe a little brother to him. I'd say Pro probably. Yeah, probably even Absolutely. like probably even as close to a son as he could be. But yeah, yeah. him and Glenn were tighten it and then Negan comes in and he bashes the skull in. Yeah, I mean I saving his life doesn't make up for that. No, I, I you know, I don't, you know. Um and who killed Abraham? The wolves, right? Um no. Was the it... white. So it was it was the the, yeah, so it was the saviors, right. So they killed Abraham. They killed so that's what I'm saying, like, you know, so for me it doesn't make up for it. No Negan, sorry, it doesn't make up for it. I have a little more respect about from like where you've come from, but you're still an asshole. I don't trust him. So yeah, I I would I would buy into that theory that he might still. I trust him a little bit. That's like the he's thing. He's biding his time. But I mean, okay. So he he went back and he he could have he killed Alpha. He came back. He's fighting with them. I don't know, man. I just don't. I just so I just. I'm after afraid. seeing his backstory, I I have a little bit of his thought process in my head, and. He didn't know if he could trust Rick and them, and he didn't know if he could trust anybody ever again. Right. But now he sees what Rick and them have done. They'll kill for him for a community. They're gonna kill him if if he if he kills Rick, he's dead. He knows that. Well, the the thing he knows that, but he knows like, hey, they're trying to build up a society, so maybe just yeah. maybe I should be a part of this. I should try to redeem like myself, absolve some of my sins that I've committed against these people. And maybe, just maybe, they'll accept me into the society that they're building. Maybe. Maybe that is. I, I, you know, I just, like I said, I, I just... 
of, of course you're going to sprinkle like the f bomb and some other stuff in there every now and then, but verbatim that's what I think that Negan's thinking. Yeah, you know, I, I, either way, really, really cool. I mean, I'm. I, it's really interesting how what they're doing with the character, and I'm glad yeah. that he's still around and and we get that. Um, he's definitely a fucking asset. This right here, though, the shot where it comes down is just like, yeah. God damn it, you know, you got, like you got the zombie like spooch there and all what that. What did they? What did they think? You really thought you were gonna attack them at the fence and they weren't gonna? But that's yeah. provoking them and they're gonna just. Then I was thinking if they went to the walls and they were, they said he said they were gonna pick them off, right? Which they never even got to at that point. You know, you, that would have. You got mounds of dirt behind the walls. The walls won't fall. The gate will fall. Right, but I'm still thinking. I'm thinking World War Z situation where they start climbing the dead bodies. If there's thousands of them, Jess, they can climb. If they were at the wall, they could climb the dead bodies. You don't think they would climb those dead bodies? Of course. So I was thinking, oh shit, are they going to do a World War Z situation where they're climbing each other to get over the wall, but then they just go to well, the gate? Well, not not like that. Like they end up walking onto each other and they eventually pile up. Is what I was thinking. Well, I, I meant I meant climbing up the pile. I didn't necessarily mean like yeah. they were going to be like you know they don't have the the werewolf all to do that, but. I mean, I don't know, man. Just dire. Just it's just pretty dire again. It happened. It's a really very fast. bleak situation. You know, uh, going back, you know, very briefly with with um, Eugene and Andrea, like having them like trying to like it's just like this whole thing was was insane. This was a pretty cool part, though. Yeah, that that pit there. Like they, I they... paused for a second when I was reading. It, and I was like, that is freaking awesome. Yeah, but then again, they just quickly walk over it, so it's like that did nothing. I guess when you yeah. have these many, this this these sheer numbers, they didn't even get to fire weapons. Like, this is a good shot though, too. I like this shot. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, it's just, it's just, it's just crazy, you know. Um, so like I said, my my thoughts were, you know, this whole when them trying to split them up and like I don't know how the hell that was gonna work, you know. I don't know, but I'm glad to see Eugene doing something though. Yeah, well, he's definitely stepped up, and he was like, "You just fell in front of me." He's like, "You're exhausted. You need to go rest." And he's like, "I'm not." He's like, "The adrenaline's got my eyes popping out of my head. I'm not gonna fucking stop now." Like, you know? Yeah. I was like, uh, who would be able to stop knowing that you know the inevitable doom, possibly, of Alexandria is right there? Go rest. Yeah, come on. Come on, Rick. Get your head out of where the sun doesn't shine and nope. get in the game. I was, I was like, I was like, shit. What's gonna happen here? Are they gonna, you know? But. Like getting attacked, like oh, these shot, these 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 are crazy shots with them yeah. hitting the walkers from inside the gate. Like it was fucking crazy, man. You know, it really was. Like when Rick fell, I was thinking back to the cover. I was like, man, is Rick possibly going mm -hmm. to get bit right here? I know. I, I was like, that that would be a real freaking shame yeah. for him to get bit in this attack, but. Thankfully, he did. No, it's just, just crazy shit, man. Or um, did he? I don't know. Probably, well, probably not, no. Probably not, Seems no. all right. But anyway, I mean, and, and then, of course, this fucking bullshit. The end. Yeah, John and... Um, I, I believe that... There might be more than just those two saviors. Possibly. Well... Well, she was keeping an eye, but don't forget, we again, what's her face wants to like wants this to happen and then they're gonna come in and they're gonna like take over Alexandria the Saviors, according to this bitch, but also the other one from a few comments uh, ago. Eugene's ex wife. Yeah. Or not Eugene's no, uh, uh, Dwight's, Dwight's ex wife. Ex -wife. Uh, <laughs> what the name? I don't know how I got those two confused. Yeah. Um I knew what you meant. But yeah, so I mean it's just it's just pretty crazy. Pretty I Very. mean I, I what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do, guys? What do you think that's gonna happen? They're, 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 there's no. What the hell can they do? They, I mean, they're just gonna waste all the bullets that Eugene just brought. There's not enough bullets. You know what I'm saying? Not, not enough bullets. There might be though. You know, think what about I it. They start flooding in through the fence, and you have that big of an area there. If you have enough ammo, you can pop maybe two, three in the head at the same time. With uh, yeah, but that's not everyone's an expert shot and. What I don't you get, you don't man, need everyone to be an expert shot. No, but what I don't get is how come they didn't set shit up? Like, how come you didn't have like a big bus or a truck that you could have quickly driven in front of the gate? Why would you, if you knew that this is a possibility, which it always was a possibility, especially yeah. since you already knew that they had thousands of walkers with them? 
They've already seen the ocean of walkers. Why didn't they prepare and like drive a truck up in front of the gate? What I want to point out though, in that binocular shot up there, mm -hmm. you can see how big Alexandria has gotten since it's like introduction. Right. That thing is massive now. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, they should have had... So they should have... Okay, if they get in through the gate, we have ways to... Regardless of how many at this point... I mean, obviously, this is a this is a nightmare. But they should have ways that they could get them... They could herd them. You know, like, set up these perimeters or barriers, I should say, that would, like, close. And then, okay, they'll only come through... Put them in chutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, they should have been fucking like smarter, man. They should have been smarter. Especially fighting people like the Whispers who... You know what I mean? So. Maybe they could have put, or maybe they can still catch some on fire and have them, it will burn down Alexandria, but, like, have them all burn up and then, you know, rebuild. I don't know. Yeah, I know, man. It, it would know. take a lot of work. It would take a lot of lumber. Why not bring one of the machines from the fucking, from the, the construction site and fucking bulldoze them? You know what I'm saying? Like, there were so many things that I feel like they could have fucking been ready for. They could have had all these things in place, but no, they didn't. Well, you got to think, this is like a two-year time skip after the two years that happened, so it's a four-year time skip. Yeah, but the but the Probably the not zombies... much gas left. Okay, fine, but still, like, there or are ways diesel, to right. get it in. There are ways to, to do things like that, you know what I mean? Like, especially yeah. getting at least, like, a, a truck or a bus in front of... That well, you got enough manpower, you can push a bus. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You can even so, push a backhoe. Exactly. So, I don't know. I, I'm kind of pissed off because they didn't think of that, and now they're going to fucking pay for it. Oh. You know what I mean? Now now, now they're going to fucking pay for it. But either way... Um, John with his smug eye. <laughs> I know. Smug eye. Uh, anything else, man? What were your favorite parts? I don't think you told me. Yeah, the Negan part where he's like, okay, he yeah. saves Rick and all yeah. that. that. That was pretty good. Where that he steps up and saves Rick. Yeah. So a lot of good stuff going in this one. I'm, I'm definitely excited. We got two weeks. And up in two weeks, we get another yeah, one. Yeah, two weeks. We get two issues this month, and I think two issues next month. Oh, yeah, that's right. So 164 yeah. is coming up. So guys, look for our next video coming up. Anything else? That's it, I think, for this one? That's it for this one, but that's not it for Comic Blitz. No, that's not it. You want me to take this one? Ah, uh, yeah, you can take this one. Comic Blitz, guys. Uh, you guys don't know what Comic Blitz is? Well, we're about to friggin' tell you. Comic Blitz is a really cool... Uh, comic subscription service. Uh, there are new friends. You go to comicblitz.com and uh, they've got a subscription service for uh, all sorts of comics. We've got, got over 4,500 comics from um, all different types of publishers. Unfortunately, Walking Dead is not one of them yet, but they do have IDW, Top Cow, Boom Studios, uh, you know, James Bond, My Little Pony, Transformers, G.I. Joe, like all, all, really, really some good comics. Why don't you go over there? You can get yourself uh, some comics. Uh, you, there's a couple of different subscription services, um, packages, uh, but either for any of those packages you sign up for, if you put in the promo code third person pod, like you see on the screen there, you can get your first three months for only a dollar a month. That's right, guys. So three you months, get, $3. So that's right. Unlimited comics for three months for only $3. So why wouldn't you do that? So if you're looking to catch up on some stuff or you, or you wanted to get some, you know, read some stuff, they uh, have old comics. Yep, they got a whole good backlog, and they're consistently, constantly adding new comics and new publishers. So uh, we're really happy to, um, you know, be in the in the same vehicle with these guys. And um, I don't know why I turned it into a driving metaphor, but you know, we're all driving towards something. But anyway, guys, comic books, check it out. It's on iOS. Um, it's on your desktop. Uh, it's soon to be on Android. It's in the Android app is in beta, uh, so you can get yep. them on there too. And uh, guys, really cool stuff. So go get yourself some comics, the comic books, and use the promo code Third Person Pod. So I think that's going to do it for us here um, at third person. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this. And um, anything else, Jess? That's Final it. Words? That's it. So we'll see you in a couple weeks in the next video. And let us know what you think of this comic. Let us know what you think of this issue because this was a pretty awesome issue. So let's continue that conversation down below. Don't forget you can get us at third person pod on all the social medias. And that's going to do it for us here. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace Bye. Out.